Hey guys, it's Bren, and I'm here with a totally random empties video. I haven't done an empties video since April, so this is kind of things that I've used up in May, June, and July here. And I'm calling it totally random because some of the stuff is newer, but some of the stuff is really old. With me, it takes me a really long time to use up lotion, shower gels, things like that, because I'm always using like 10 different things at once. So like if you walk into my shower, I've got six probably different shower gels lined up because I like to use a different one every day and same thing with lotion so if I get a lotion it takes me maybe 10 times as long as it would someone else to use it up because I'm using 10 different things at a time like I said some of this is old and some of this I'll go through really quick and just kind of show you what's all here uh, because I'm trying to clean this out I've been saving my empties but I need to make room now for all of the new fall stuff that's coming so I'm trying to also purposefully use up things that only have a little bit left right now make way for all the new stuff. Um, by the way though, before I started, I almost forgot, I wanted to say thanks to all of my awesome subscribers and everybody who gave a thumbs up to my last video with Brantley in it. He was really excited, uh, got up the next day, wanted to check it right away, see how many people had watched it, and um, his dad read him all the comments and everything. So that video has more thumbs up right now than most of my videos, and uh, just one jerk who decided to be a jerk to a five-year-old, but that's okay. That's the nature of the internet as was explained to him. But I mean, that kid knows how to use YouTube better than I do. You know, it's amazing five-year-olds these days and everything they know. So he goes on there, he checks it, and um, you guys are awesome. So thanks for that. And it was fun to do too. Okay, empties. I'm gonna start with a pocket back. Island Margarita, used this guy up. Still have a million in this shape. Um, that I'll be using up before I get to use the new ones. I mean, I have pocket backs to last me forever. I could just bathe in them for the rest of time. But anyway, that's a good one, you know, favorite, not much to say. Um, I'll do soaps now. Here's a really old one, used up Tuscan Vineyard from the, like, oh, the Italian collection, it says right on here. Uh, this came out, what, like 2013 or something? Maybe like April? Really old one, but since... This, they've come out with various grape flavored ones that all kind of smell the same. And I mean, it's a good one. And I assume that there will be one that smells probably almost identical to this coming out with the Cork and Vine collection next week. So I guess it was timely that I got rid of it. This was one of the old ones in the old packaging that had the triclose, triclosan, whatever it is that, you know, you're not supposed to use anymore because it gave rats, heart attacks, or whatever it is. Um, but the old style bottle too, which I actually think, I mean, compared to the new style, I kind of like this better. And I like that it was heavier on the bottom because they didn't tip over when it got low. It was like weighted. Um, I know that they wanted something new and different, but kind of liked this packaging better as far as bottle shape goes. But anyway, there was that. Um, since I got this one in my hand, I'll do this next. This was a semi-annual sale soap, the Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. This was a big hit, big favorite. I saw a lot of people hauling this. I only ever got one. Then I went back to get more, but um, Josh said he thought it was too sweet, and I was like, oh, okay, you know, I won't get any more or whatever, and um, I don't know, but it was good. I liked it. It's nothing super special. It was just vanilla, but used that up. At some point, this was probably a couple months ago, I used up a white lily and lime. Liked this one. It's a pretty green color. My mom really liked that one too. And then I used up a Southern Lemon Chiffon Soap. This one I really liked and I actually pretty much used up a hand cream. I could maybe squeeze a little bit more out of this. Um, I got more of this. So I have some of this stocked because I really, really liked it. And when this whole um, Southern collection launched, I wasn't super impressed with any of the soaps or hand creams, and I didn't get any the first time that I went, but then I went back, I remember, and grabbed this and ended up liking it so much that I got the soap and I got a couple more of these, like I said, because it's really a great, like, lemon scent that has, like, also a little bit of something else that makes it desserty. I know it's supposed to be, like, vanilla in there with it. Looking for a description. Ah, uh, yes. Um, lemon powdered sugar and whipped cream. There's something very bakery about it to me too, though. Kind of like a lemon meringue pie. I get like the whipped cream and the lemon, but also maybe like a little crustiness or something. Um, really good. Really, really good. So anyway, this, uh, if you ever run across more of this, like at a semi-annual sale, I highly recommend that scent. Uh, moving on to shower products. Here's a really old one for you. Finally used up this thing. Uh, almond and honey scrub. I didn't like the scrub. It's a honey body scrub, but like it was sticky. 
And I never felt like I could really get it off of me. And then I used it sometimes to scrub my feet and I'd feel like they were still like slipping and sliding on the shower floor and I just couldn't get it off. I'm not a fan of the scrubs with honey in them, I guess. So good riddance to that, even though I really did like the scent. And I still have a couple of the body butters that came out in this scent that I'll be keeping for a while. Also from the Southern Collection, my two little guys in the cotton and the strawberry. This one's got a little left in it, I guess. But you know what? I wasn't a big fan of this. Originally, I thought I liked the strawberry scent the most, but I got sick of it first, I guess you could say. It, it's still not terrible or anything. This smells very like Bath & Body Works to me, almost like just that generic walking by the Bath & Body Works store in the mall and you just catch a whiff of like all the scents. That's kind of what this would always remind me of. It just smelled like Bath and Body Works, if that makes sense. Um, the cotton and lemonade, I have plenty of the lotion and cream stocked in this. Uh, really clean, nice scent. And But I, you know, with shower gels, I don't tend to stock those because by the time I use one up, I'm sick of it. And then um, Sky. This was old. Um, it was a January release. I guess not this year, but the year before. So maybe early 2014, like right after some annual sale, very beginning of 2014. Uh, the Sky Air Sun Collection came out. And Sky was really the only scent that I liked in that. It's a floral scent, which I don't usually like. But it's kind of like a very... Um, it's dripping on me still. Perfumey. Like, smells like a like a perfume I might wear, and I have fine fragrance mist in this. That'll take me forever to use up. So I did like all that scent, but finally depleted the shower gel I had in it, and I finally just used up just in time for more fall scents. Look how hard my water is. It's so hard that all my bottles that have been in there for a year get, you know, very chalky. But the Plum Moscato and Almond Harvest, I loved the scent. I still have plenty of it. And, you know, I'm you're starting to see on Instagram and uh, social media, the new fall tradition scents that are coming out this year. And in comparing it to what came out last year in fall traditions, the only thing that's missing is like a plum scent. I don't know that I've heard or seen one of those yet coming out in 2015. Everything else seems to be in play. There's like an autumn scent and the comfort is coming, or the, the latte, marshmallow latte is coming back and the sweet cinnamon pumpkin, of course, is coming back and there's an apple scent. Haven't seen a 2015 plum scent. I really liked this one. I think it would be awesome if it came back, but if it doesn't, I'll be okay because I have enough stock. But I used up the shower gel in that. That takes care of shower gels. Wallflowers, just to keep on moving. A uh, couple turquoise waters wallflowers I used up, a two-pack, but I didn't use those here because it's a really strong scent. This is actually what I had going over at uh, Josh's house um, where he has a bigger area that they have to fill. It's a good, clean scent. It's not typically my thing. You know, I'm more into, like, fruit scents and bakery scents, but this... Um, and that's why I couldn't handle this in a small area like this. But over there, it just kind of gave it a nice, like, fresh, clean scent. Single wallflowers. I did a, an island margarita. I've talked about this plenty on this channel already. It's so good at first, but it gets kind of gross and bitter and turns color pretty early on. And so, like, I recommend it, but just don't expect this one to last long. And there's still a little in there, and it just, but it wasn't smelling good anymore. So there's that. Um, a love, which this is a good one. Really liked this wallflower a lot. It's a redo of Tokyo Petals from the past. And I think I have one more of these. So, you know. And then a couple from Hawaii Collection. The Pineapple Palm Grass was good. Not super strong, I don't think. But, you know, it smelled like pineapple. And then a Guava Colada, which this kind of weirdly started to smell a little musty to me, I think, partway through. It was good at first, but then it got like this little, kind of started almost to smell like dirt or something, or like bitter. So, eh. Anyway, but that's over. I don't have any big candle empties. I have a lot of them that are almost done, but I didn't actually finish any off. But this was in my empties basket. I don't even remember when I used this up. A little, crap, <laughs> a little pomelo Paradise candle, not really anything to say about that, but two Yankees. Um, 
Both of these, I got large tumblers in these scents at the Yankee semi-annual sale. So because of that, I used up my small ones. Blueberry scone, awesome scent, really good. My favorite blueberry candle scent of all of the blueberry candles that there are. Um, so have a whole big one of this. And then a margarita time, also really good. And different than Bath and Body Works Island Margarita. More, mm, it smells truer to an actual margarita, I think. Kind of reminds me of lime jello, like in a good way though. And it's strong for being a scent that doesn't seem like it's going to be strong in, or on cold, I guess, to me. I wouldn't predict that this is a strong scent, but it actually is really strong. And the big tumbler that I have in it now is great. So that's it. Those are my empties from the past basically three months and I'm going to get rid of all this stuff to make room for all of the new fall stuff that's going to be coming. I'll probably see you next, uh, sometime next week with a haul from the Cork and Vine collection and hopefully um, I can score some fall stuff too, plan to make a trip into White Barn and all of that. So until then, I'll see you around on Instagram and uh, have a good one.